Is this $600 hair tool worth it? It works. <laughs> I just don't feel like it did anything crazy for me. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I am really enjoying this. Oh my gosh, maybe it is worth it. What is before me? is the coveted Dyson Airwrap. Literally praised by every single beauty and hair TikToker influencer alive right now. It's sold at all these different beauty retailers and it's always selling out. But did we mention that it's $600? Wow, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna use this and fall in love with it and want to buy it. So today we are doing an episode of Five Women Try because we didn't want to just show you on one hair type. We have curly hair, we have wavy hair, we have straight hair, short hair, long hair. We all have such different strands, textures, thickness, thinness. We're gonna style our hair with it, really test it out, and let you guys know what we think about it. Because with a $600 price tag, like there is no beating around the bush. I need to know if this is worth it. A hair tool, it just, it seems so wrong. I kind of hope I hate it, because if I like it, then I need it. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. So we're trying the Dyson Airwrap Multi Styler Complete for longer hair. It's, this is the long. This is chest length hair and longer. And it's $600, as we've already discussed. Um, you can buy the Dyson on the Dyson website, and they also offer it at stores like Ulta, Best Buy, and Sephora. It comes with the storage case the styler, the smoothing dryer, which is a dryer and a smoother, a 1.2 inch long barrel, a 1.6 inch long barrel. Also comes with a firm smoothing brush, a soft smoothing brush, and a round volumizing brush. It has three heat settings, three airflow speeds, and a cold shot, which deactivates the heating element for cool air to set your style. So when you get your air wrap kit, you're getting a ton of stuff. There's like seven tools in there, but we're just trying two. We have the brushes and of course the actual barrels, <laughs> the curl barrels. I was like, the rods? Wow. Okay, so that's sturdy. I have a Dyson vacuum, so I am keen to the to the brand, the product as a whole, and they make a good product, I will say. We've got her plugged in and rarer to go. We have two brushes here, but I think they both honestly feel pretty firm, but just because I know my hair, I will, I'm gonna go ahead and try the super, super firm one. I'm not really sure like why you would pick one or the other, to be honest. It's interesting that they have this movement, so I guess while you're in there, the air will be blowing in different directions. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say no. So this is a thinner barrel, obviously, so if you wanna get like those tighter wraps. I'm so confused, because I've never seen any use. Where's your hair go? This is that thicker one if you want those looser, bouncier, like blowout look. Thank goodness there's people here helping me, because if there wasn't instructions, I don't think I would know what to do with it. If you guys do purchase this, it does come with like a little instruction manual. Um, they're not totally leading you in blind. You do have some visuals. Typically, if I'm going to curl my hair, I do smooth it or straighten it before. For me, it just gives me a better curl. And because I have so much hair, I'm gonna put half of it up to see if it helps any. I'm gonna do the smooth brush just because I have curly hair and I don't wanna use the harsher bristles. You'll see that there are these little notches on the side, and I guess those just line up like that. When you put this on, you really can be gentle. I think you would normally think it would have to like snap in, but it kind of just sits there, so don't be too forceful with it. And then we just go. We're just gonna turn it on. Ah, suction. And they do give you some tips for how to use this brush as you style. So you wanna start root to tip. If you want volume, like the same way you would with the curler, you're gonna go outwards, but then you gotta like bring it in kind of, you know? Which again, with a lot of these tools, it just kinda takes practice. Feels a little awkward at first. Over. Okay, I'm gonna buy it.
I did put a heat protectant on before I blow dried it yesterday. I don't have it with me, but I kind of want to see where to go from here. My hair doesn't hold a style or a curl or anything. It tends to fall out. So I think maybe if I use the hottest one, maybe it'll hold longer. I have pretty frizzy hair. I've done some treatments to it where I've gotten something like called a Brazilian blowout where they do try to take out a lot of the frizz. It can tend to look also pretty damaged at the ends. I try to keep up with trims, but I'm not great at it. I think I washed it four days ago and I've blow dried it and I have styled it at one point. So this is not like how it naturally looks. If you, okay, Hermione in Harry Potter 1, that's me. So I have naturally curly hair. It's extremely thick curly hair. It's got more of a frizzy texture. Um, and I have extremely curly roots as well. So I don't have those really nice curls that do this that I'm sometimes so jealous of, Jackie. This is a lot of like time though on one strand. My type of hair, it comes off when it's curly that it's a little bit thicker, but it's actually not. My hair is super thin and you'll see that when I curl it. And it's in between like wavy and curly. This would be great if my hair was wet to dry it, I think. There's two ways that you can curl curly hair. You can brush it out and then just have like a frizzed out version of this and then curl into it. You could also straighten it and then curl it. I'm very interested to see if one, if I brush it out, then curl it how it looks versus just curling it and see if it kind of gives me a blowout. So I have a lot of hair, like a lot, a lot, a lot of hair. It is very thick. It is constantly everywhere. It's naturally pretty straight. I don't have to do much to it to kind of get it to sit where I want it to. When researching the Dyson, I did find some people said if your hair is too clean, it won't really hold a curl or hold the style. So I am curious to see what it does to my hair right now, considering I just washed it last night and only have a tiny bit of product. So I guess you can use this like, not with your hair sopping wet, but after you get out of the shower, you can kind of like towel dry it. And when it's almost air dried, you can use this. So it might work better that way. But on my dry hair, I feel like it's not really doing anything. My hair is pretty thick um, and it has kind of like a natural wave to it. I strained it over the weekend. So right now it's straighter, but when it air dries, it could be kind of crazy. I can't see much difference. So I did just give it like a general brush. I'm not seeing a crazy difference. It just looks like I did brush my hair with a vacuum, I guess. So like it's giving, it is giving body. It's giving floof. I don't, I don't know what people use the brush for. If it is to style or if it is to just blow dry your hair dry, I have no idea. And I can see if my hair was completely wet, getting out of the shower, I would use this brush to blow dry my hair, get it dry, and it would do it in like seconds and it would get it prepared to curl it. Okay, that felt really nice going through my hair. I didn't really feel any tugging. The medium heat was not very hot at all, so I, d I think for the next time I run through it, I'm gonna push it up to the highest heat. And then the medium speed of which the air was flowing was pretty good too. I think compared to like this Hagrid side, that did a pretty good job. Maybe I should separate like the layers, but yeah, I don't know if it's really doing much. I'm gonna swap out the brush and see if the other one is better. My hair is obviously already kind of straight down here. Like it might be better to try with some of this stuff that doesn't have as much straightening. I mean, it feels softer, I would say. Like if anything, it's still really hard to get my roots. It, this is a little bit better than what I would have expected, I think, just because it has like a nice spread out bristle so you can really like get in there like this. I was brushing down just to get it to be more straight, but that's something that I would value and I don't have a lot of volume. So if I were to do it again, I'd probably brush upwards. And I think that would help with my volume, which is really great. Okay. It's quicker than my styler, my Revlon styler from beauty to beast. Like it looks pretty good. This brush maybe worked a little bit better. It's definitely doing something, but it might just be hard to tell because my hair is already straight today. I'm undecided on this head so far because I just don't feel like it did anything crazy for me. So I'm actually the most excited to try the curling wand because that I know is gonna at least make a difference and I think will give me some bounce in body. It's gonna work. Fantastic. All right, we're gonna move on to the curling barrels. 
I'm gonna go thinner, surprisingly enough. I always use a thinner barrel, not a thicker barrel, because I like my curls to be defined. Um, so let's pop this bad boy on. Easy enough. Doesn't make a satisfying snap noise, so strike number one. You are supposed to hold it upright, and then when you are trying to curl your hair, get the tip in first. And the airflow will basically suck the hair at the bottom, and then you can just follow it up to your root to get that entire curl going. Hold it for about 15 seconds, depending on your hair. Then you do the cold shot to set the curl. Uh, so that's something that's interesting that you wouldn't get with a regular curling wand is this cold shot that is supposedly supposed to set your style. Fun fact, with the old Dyson version, you had to swap out the curler for the different directions. So if you wanted it like facing away, you had to swap it out. If you wanted it facing back, forward or back. Um, this one, you have like a little twisty knob. If you twist the nozzle to the left or the right, you're telling this product which way you want your hair cold, which is really important. Do you want it outward or do you want it inward? <laughs> I'm gonna go actually with the bigger one just because I do have a lot of hair. <laughs> Guys, this is so fun. It gives you like a real curl bounce. And I like it because you're not applying like heat directly to your hair. Okay, wait, let's keep going. Enough chat. I don't trust it. I'm nervous, but we'll see. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. How do you get, ah, oh, wait. Make it vertical. You should be teaching me. If I told you I was good at styling tools and my hair looked like this right now, I don't think you'd believe me, but typically when I try to make my hair look good, it does, but I have so much of it and it takes me so long to style it. 95% of the time, this is what it looks like. Okay, this is a trial and error product. Do not feel bad if you can't get it the first time. Ow, ow! Why is it pulling on my hair? <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> So I think the hardest part was getting all of my hair actually wrapped. And then I think I need to take smaller sections because when I would try to take larger sections, I feel some of the ends wouldn't get wrapped up and it would end up falling out anyway. Wait, but I, wait, it works, obviously. Wait, look how cute that curl is. <laughs> right now my hair is kind of dirty. I think it's like day three of not being washed. Um, but maybe that'll help it hold a curl better because my hair does not hold a curl ever. Oh, okay, it works. <laughs> it's definitely a weird thing you have to get used to because there's so much air that if you have a lot of hair, it's just kind of blowing everywhere. Now let's try it again. I think I'm pretty okay at styling my hair. For me, like the hardest part is my hair holding a style, especially when it's clean, right? Um, because my hair doesn't get very greasy very, very soon after washing it, which is why I can go a really long time without washing it. It just doesn't do that. And so I don't like to use hairsprays or mousses or gels or anything like that because then I would have to wash my hair sooner and I'm lazy. Okay, she's getting the hang of it. Oh, she's got a cut. Ah, look at that. And what I will say is when I use my straightener, it is clamping on the hair and you're putting a lot of heat on the hair. So it's a lot more damaging for your curly hair. This, you're just using hot air and it feels like bouncy and lively. No, I'm obsessed. You guys, look at that. My hair can typically hold a good style. Um, I don't wash my hair that often. I wash it maybe once, maybe twice a week. With, so that like dirt and grit, you know, it does hold a style quite well. And I don't love a hairspray. A hairspray I think just ruins it. I've got the round brush blow dryers. I've got the straighteners. I've got the crimpers, dry bar, like hot brush. Got a lot of hot tools. How many do I use on a regular basis? Maybe two, maybe one, maybe none. But let's just add another one to the mix. If you want tighter curls, of course, maybe use the smaller barrel or hold it on a little bit longer, use smaller sections. But I think this is really nice for me for a day. It gives you some bounce and some volume without being overwhelming. So I am really enjoying this. I'm gonna finish my head with the curler super quick and then we'll get back to you guys. If you're watching this and you're like me and you're not great at hairstyling, I wouldn't think of this as like 
the hair tool for dummies. I definitely have to finagle this a little bit, but it works. <laughs> um, this one definitely feels hotter, like on the side of my head um, than the brush. These kind of curls, I feel like I have not been able to achieve at home. Yeah, with practice, I think it would be a really great thing to have. I think it's like, it's like tough. Like when you have this much hair, like you really need to do it like section by section by section. Um, I like the idea of it, obviously. I really, really do. And I really think that if my hair was dirty, like this could totally work. All right, so honestly, that didn't take much time at all and I have a lot of hair. Even though I did kind of like a messier job, I think it still works. I don't think you have to be super precise. Not super, super curly, if that's not what you're going for, but considering I did that in like less than 10 minutes, I think it looks pretty good. Sorry I washed my hair and wasn't disgusting, you know? So what do we think? I've got to tell you, I am a full convert. Like. I know that I'm gonna get on my phone and check to see if they've just miraculously dropped in price because I'm obsessed. I have done my entire head now with the brush. I really like how shiny my hair looks and I really like how smooth and soft it feels. And it's a good tool to have, I guess, like on my cleaner days where I know my hair is not gonna hold a curl as well. Of course, if I had more time, if I was given, you know, a day, I could probably do a much better job, but my hair feels good. I felt like once you just knew the direction and you kind of did it a couple times, it was so easy to pick up and get used to. This could definitely replace the Revlon blow dry brush that I already own. Plus it replaces a curling wand. It is a lot of tools in one. Um, plus it has even more that we didn't even try out. The fact that I use this with nothing in my hair, no hairspray, no nothing, and it's created this volume and like this nice like natural wavy curl, I really like. The barrels won't work unless my hair is a little bit dirtier, but I will say that this brush, the brush is kind of amazing. I loved the brushes because I feel like it's a definite replacement for my Revlon styler. Once you get the hang of it, I think this could be such a useful tool. If you're gonna buy a really nice hair straightener, that could be all, all, like $150. And so if you're getting six in one. Oh my gosh, maybe it is worth it. Because if you're getting the hair dryer too. I don't know where the $600 I'm getting is coming from, but I must, I must have. Am I personally gonna go home and spend $600 on this? I don't think so. I do think that I would probably still have a straightener, but I would be 100% okay just doing this until my hair got a little bit more greasy and then switching to the barrels. I really enjoyed this product. It was fast, fun, convenient. You have multiple options. I think it's super user friendly once you figure out how to use it. After that, it's like smooth selling, you're good to go. And if we have influenced you, like the influencers we are, to go buy this, you guys can actually click on the product tab and just shop directly from this video. Also, let us know in the comments below if you are buying it, because I need the convincing as well. If you guys are doing it, I'll do it too.